to be wet, particularly along the southeast coast. And given uh, that that is the region in which uh, we expect uh, most of the traffic today, today is one of the busiest days for people travelling from the Gold Coast and Sunshine Coast uh, back to Brisbane. Uh, our main message now is for people to please, please drive safe, please take care on the roads. Think about all of the efforts that we went to over the last 12 months or so to keep Queenslanders safe from COVID-19. And we were incredibly successful. We managed to limit the number of deaths to just six, just one of those locally acquired. In that same time period, 354 people died on our roads. And so just imagine if we'd put the same uh, effort into taking uh, care of each other on the roads as we did uh, through the pandemic, their lives that uh, could have been saved. Uh, we've already lost 76 people uh, to road uh, deaths already this year. That's 26 more than uh, this time uh, last year. Uh, on a positive note, though, it's been a bumper weekend for our tourism operators. Uh, 75,000 people flew into Cairns from uh, the southeast, from Sydney, and largely from the southeast, Sydney and Melbourne. Uh, lots and lots of full flights arrived on uh, Thursday and Friday. That's 90% of the 2019 Easter arrivals. So 90% of the pre-COVID uh, levels. Many hotels are reporting occupancy at above 90%. Uh, it's been a busy weekend in the cent central Queensland uh, region. I understand the Rocky Nats was very, uh, has been a very successful show car uh, festival with burnouts drifting and a thirsty Merc concert. Uh, and on the Sunshine Coasts and Gold Coasts, very busy as well. Gold Coast Airport had its busiest day for arrivals on, uh, on Thursday. Gold Coast ranks in the top searches uh, for travel uh, websites. The Outback's been uh, really busy as well. And so it's uh, wonderful that Queenslanders and Southerners have supported our uh, tourism regions. Now we just want to make sure we can get everyone back home safely. Uh, we'll get an update from the uh, Deputy Chief uh, Health Officer from QFES and from the Bureau. Thank you, Deputy um, Premier. Good morning, everyone. Um, the first thing both Dr Young and I do in the morning is check the figures, the cases overnight, and it's um, really pleasing to see that we haven't had any more local community-acquired cases this morning. Unfortunately, we still have four cases, as the Deputy Premier said, acquired in hotel quarantine, but uh, that's as we expect. No more local community cases, so that's fantastic news. Um, the test, testing, not unexpectedly, did decrease yesterday, so we only did around 7,500 test samples in the last 24 hours. So I just want to remind people, if you haven't already, please check the list of location exposure sites on the web and follow that advice. Um, even if you haven't been in the, those location sites, if you have any symptoms at all, please go along to your nearest testing clinic and have a test. It's very accessible, uh, straightforward and easy to do. Uh, and uh, it helps protect the community. So I just encourage people to do that as well um, uh, and otherwise enjoy uh, your Easter Monday. Thank you. Just on the VA hospital, what are engineers doing there and are they looking at ventilation or air conditioning as a possible spread of the virus? Well, as we said yesterday, that, that is all under review. So I don't have the details of exactly what they're doing, but uh, as soon as the outcomes of that review are known, the Chief Health Officer or myself will, will let everyone know.